Welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday, the 13th of March. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxley Group of Parishes. And this evening, there is no one in the Anglican Communion to celebrate, so we are going to celebrate St. Gerald of Mayo. Um, <clears throat> so, a little bit of information about Gerald. Gerald was born in Northumbria, England, and became a monk at Lindisfarne. When Celtic liturgical practices were forbidden there, he left England and entered a monastery on the island of Inishbofin off the coast of Mayo, Ireland. When the English and Irish monks there quarrelled, he built a monastery for the English monks on the mainland. He succeeded St Colman as abbot. So well did his saintly this saintly man fulfil his duties, and so much did he influence the people for good, that when the See of Braga became vacant, Gerald was selected by the clergy and people of that city to be their bishop. Gerald visited his diocese, eradicating the abuses that had cropped up, especially that of the administering of ecclesiastical investiture by laymen. Although St. Gerald was a comparatively young man, he proved a wise ruler and governed Mayo until 697, when, it is said, he resigned in favour of St. Adam Nunn. Some auth authors hold that St. Adam Nunn celebrated the Roman Easter at Mayo in 703 and then went to Screen in High Fiacha and that after his departure, the monks prevailed on St. Gerald to resume the abbacy. The Saxon saint continued to govern the abbey and diocese of Mayo and until his death on the 13th of March, 731. Uh, so, that's the information about St. Gerald. Now, let us take a moment of quiet. Um, as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way, we are going to do a Celtic night prayer tonight. Um, words you see in bold are for you to join in with, should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. So Celtic evening prayer, and using some elements of night prayer, and from it's from the book Celtic Liturgy by Pat Robson. And this picture at the top on the left is uh, a painting of Saint Gerald of Mayo. And um, part way through this service. We are invited to light a candle, should we wish to do so. So let us begin. The evening mist rises from the ground to refresh our souls. The birds cease their songs, and in the darkening shadows of night, we come together in prayer. Let us worship the Lord, or praise to his name. For the joys and blessings of this day, let us worship the Lord. All praise to his name. For our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought light to the world, let us worship the Lord. May we walk in his name. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The darkness in our lives brings us grief and our sins are heavy to bear. Hear yeah, what our Lord says. Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When Christ came on earth, he lived as a man who knew both hardship and despair. He knows your need. Come to him now, and lay your burdens at his feet, and confess those sins of which you are ashamed. We say together, 
eternal King and Father of all, in our pride and our weakness, we have failed you, and we are truly sorry. We are ashamed that through our own fault we have brought darkness and misery into the world. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, who died for us, forgive us our sins. Illumine the dark corners of our lives with your spirit of light and kindle once more the flame of your love in our hearts. Eternal God, you have lowered the canopy of night and its gentle shadows cover us with your peace. May the dews of heaven heal our wounds and wash the tears from our eyes. And may the burning light of Christ banish forever the darkness from our souls that we may be at peace. Amen. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. This is where we can light a candle, should we wish to do so. Then we say together, Eternal light, shine in our hearts. Eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. Eternal power, be our support. Eternal wisdom, scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity, have mercy on us that with all our heart and mind and soul and strength we may seek thy face and be brought by thine infinite mercy to thy holy presence. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So now the King of Creation from the Celtic Psalter. King, you created heaven according to your delight, a place that is safe and pure, its air filled with the songs of angels. It is like a strong, mighty city, which no enemy can invade, with walls as high as mountains. It is like an open meadow, in which all can move freely, with people arriving from earth, but never leaving. It is huge, ten times the size of earth, so that every creature ever born can find a place. It is small, no bigger than a village, where all are friends, and none is a stranger. In the centre is a palace, its walls made of emerald, and its gates of amethyst, and on each gate is hung a golden cross. The roof is ruby, and at each pinnacle stands an eagle covered in gold, its eyes of sapphire. Inside the palace it is always daylight, and the air cool, neither hot nor cold, and there is a perfect green lawn with a blue stream running across it. At the edge of this lawn are trees and shrubs, always in blossom, white, pink and purple, spreading a sweet fragrance everywhere. Round the lawn walks a king, not dressed in fine robes, but in a simple white tunic, smiling and embracing those he meets. And people from outside are constantly entering the palace, mingling with one another and then leaving. Everyone in heaven is free to come to the palace and then to take with them its perfect peaceful joy. And in this way, the whole heaven is infused with the joy of the palace. Our reading from scripture this evening comes from Matthew 11, chapter 28 to the end. Jesus said, come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. We listen to Be Thou My Vision, sung by the Cambridge Singers.
Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And let us pray to God for the church and for the world, giving thanks for the gift of his Son. May the church be filled with the light of faith and proclaim the message of salvation. Strengthen her ministers to serve the Son of God in word and sacrament so that his glory may be lifted up in the sight of all. We pray for peace among nations, for light to shine in the dark places of strife and violence, and reveal to those who are in conflict their shared humanity. Continuing our prayers for the Ukraine, for Israel, for Gaza, for Palestine. May God's love for the world be honoured by the people of the world now and in time to come. As we praise God for the love that sent his Son, we pray that we may have that love for those with whom we share our lives. Give light to direct all that we do together in all the work of these communities. Have mercy on those who have loved darkness rather than light and have fallen into the grip of evil. Release them by the love of the Son, raised on a cross for sinners and raised from death, they might have life. And we pray for all those who have asked, especially for our prayers at this time. We pray for the departed, who have lived their lives in faith and at the last have not perished, but come to eternal life including Albert Gibbs, David Myatt, Paul Goode, Emma Hawkes and Kay Myatt. Grant to us to follow their example and share with them the fruit of the same promise. May our prayers be accepted through Christ, the Saviour of the world. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Collect for St. Gerald. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you for St. Gerald and his example, not only to those of his own day, but to us in this present time. We ask that St. Gerald, along with all our brethren in heaven and the angelic hosts, watch over us and pray for us that we may live according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. A Million Miracles O Son of God, perform a miracle for us. Change our hearts. You, whose crimson blood redeems mankind, whiten our hearts. It is you who makes the sun bright and the ice sparkle. You who makes the rivers flow and the salmon leap. 
your skilled hand makes the nut tree blossom, and the corn turn golden. Your spirit composes the songs of the birds and the buzz of the bees. Your creation is a million wondrous miracles, beautiful to behold. We ask of you just one more miracle. Beautify our souls. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love that never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light. Even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Redeemer. Amen. May the peace of the night enfold us, so that we may be bathed in love. The love of the Father who made us, the love of the Son who died for us, the love of the Spirit who dwells within us. Bless us and keep us. Amen. May heaven come close as we sleep this night, and angels surround us with Christ's pure light. Amen. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening, the 13th of March. I wish you all a safe, 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 peaceful and quiet night. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless.